So, guys, for the club golfers, got an absolute belter for you. This one, Lee Westwood, the ball striker, bent left arm, and the chicken wing through impact. How can this guy possibly be one of the best ball strikers over the last 30 years? Well, I'm going to show you what a golfer this guy is. One of my favorite players, and uh, just loved watching this guy hit golf balls at the Australian Open. I asked him if I could watch him hit balls, and I was teaching there in one afternoon. I sat down behind for about 30 minutes. It was amazing. Guys, Lee Westwood. X number one player. He's won 44 tournaments around the world. Have a look at that picture before COVID. There's McElroy standing there. What a picture. 44 tournaments around the world. He's one of five different continents. And uh, he's one of four different decades. The 1990s, 2000s, 2010s, 220s. And uh, incredible ball striker. One of the best players never to win a major. Will he actually do it this year? I hope he does. What a golfer. Guys, 10 Ryder Cups. So many other things. He's just a legend, really, over the last uh, last 30 years, this guy. So let's get in there. Have a look at this swing. Now, does it look good in full speed? Leave your comments underneath. I mean, I've broken the swing down, so I know how good it is in slow motion. It's one of the best out there, one of the best pivots in world golf, but perhaps not the prettiest swing, but who cares? All right? He's just a ball striking machine. All right, guys, this is how we analyze the swing. We're going to pop up a line up the shaft here. I'm going to draw a line on the head this is what we show you on worldclassgolf.com. We're going to draw up a line here at the side of the leg here, straight up from the ankle. This will give you a gauge of how much lateral movement you've got. You've got averages of movement, right? So you've got two professionals with the average amounts of movement. Get yourself closer to these positions, you'll hit it better. Right? You won't hit it worse. Okay, so let's have a look at uh, this uh, incredible swing. We'll pop up a line here. And what I'll do just first off is we're going to go scroll it back and forwards. See the major move, see the right leg draw back, see the head go down, symmetrical knee work. So you get that right leg drawing back with the driver he lifts the heel off the ground, the left heel. Now the head's moving down, people probably think that's a mistake, but it's not. He does have a couple of unique moves through the ball, but the two average people moving their head down is around two to four inches. Now, why do they do it, these professionals? Why do they move their head down? Well, they make more money, right? so they hit it better. That's number one. But they, because what they do is it helps them hold their lag angles coming down. It helps them compress the ball and it deepens their shoulder plane. Now, when you deepen your shoulder plane, you get it around the tour averages is around 40 degrees. You can get a big angle in the back of the trial wrist in here, which gives you a lot of speed, but also helps you shallow the plane. Now, when the left shoulder goes down and the right goes up, they sort of reverse themselves on the way through. The left shoulder goes up and the right shoulder down. All right, so let's have a look at this position at the top. All right, let me have a look on this side here. So we get up to the top of the swing. We draw a line up the right leg. All right, you're going to see 83 degrees, 84, 83, 82, two average. What a pivot. See how it's all lined up? All right, now watch this movement here, lateral movement. He doesn't really open up his hips that much. Lateral movement in this direction. How much do they have? Four to six inches. That's the average. How much do you have? Do you actually know? You don't. Well, okay, worldclassgolf.com. Check out worldclassgolf.com. Partners with V1 Golf. This system I'm using is for V1 Home Studio, and you can actually use this system uh, on worldclassgolf.com. So when we're looking at shoulder plane here, people, what are we seeing? We're seeing around a 40 to 5 degree angle. You know, I mean, he's almost on the other side here of the average between 39 and 45. Heads move down a lot. Look at the number from the shoulder into the belt buckle. What a pivot, 32 degrees, incredible body movements. Now, when we play golf, right, we can only think of one thing, but you can get in there and you can get your backswing in a great position. That's the thing, get your left arm situated. Now, we have a series on worldclassgolf.com called Deep to Shallow. Right, we're looking at the shoulder plane and the left arm and the wrist alignments, and it's dropping handicaps like crazy. Check out the free trial series. You don't need a credit card, don't need anything. Just jump on the site and have a look at that. And let's have a look at this move coming down because one of the things that's interesting is this huge angle in the wrist. All right, let's have a look at that angle. You can actually measure that. All right, so I'm going to click on here and we're going to have a look. We're going to get in here. It's going to be about 110 degrees. Or it's going to be over 100 degrees, I think. Let's have a look. About there, 106 degrees. It's a big angle in the right wrist. And that's how you can get this plane to lower this plane, you know, instead of being steep and up to here. People just not looking at this number. Now, some of the other videos, if you've seen me on those, or if you've seen those videos, we talk about getting this club head to come in behind the hands 
tracing back down that line in the impact he's not really open he keeps that right leg back where it does get unique is through the ball have a look at this have a look at that and look at the shoulder plane there through the golf ball now that is the guy doesn't have a bad back world-class golf instruction has over 700 detailed videos for every golfer practice programs and evidence-based material is applied to helping you to become your own coach and play your best golf. Join us in the chat room and join the community of world-class golf instruction. You know, so around the other side, he's got a very, very high left extended side, and that's how he's not going to roll the face over there, so that face staying open. He loves to hit those compressed tiny fades into the middle of the green all day, but it really is interesting looking at this shoulder plane at the top of your swing. We can see Greg Norman, one of the best ball strikers also of all time, a little bit of a different action, but you're gonna be seeing the shoulder plane looking similar and a lower left arm position here. And we can see around 40 degrees at the top and this lead arm a little bit lower than that. Get yourself in a position for a lot of people where it's a lot easier to play golf. Okay, so amazing golf swing, Lee Westwood. And uh, when you break it down, you know, through impact, we're seeing some, some incredible moves, but doesn't he hit it good? And have a look at this, another shot just ripped in at the flag. Ladies and gentlemen, Lee Westwood, if you're after online lessons, check out Craig, have a look at that for sure. Craig, handsomegolf.com, worldclassgolf.com, partners with V1 Golf, and get in there and uh, yeah, about a thousand videos on the system. Thanks for watching, see you later.